When I hear about cars from Sweden, Volvo is the first one that comes up in my mind. Volvo makes the safest cars in the world. There is also Saab and there is also Scania that makes semi-trucks. But there is another unique car brand that dares to compete with famous supercar manufacturers. How do you build the fastest car in the world without generations of car history and years of racing experience like Bugatti and Ferrari? How do you do that without large factories with thousands of employees? Koenigsegg is one small but very ambitious company that demonstrates demonstrated all of these miracles of automotive industry. Christian van Koenigsegg is the founder and CEO of the company, and following his dream he has done the incredible. As an economist, his education seemed to be unrelated to technology, but he always had passion for cars. His dream was to create the fastest car. When he was 22 years old, with the help of his father and friends, he began building his first supercar model based on his own design drawings. There was not enough experience, so he searched for engineers around the world who were able to help or just simply give an advice. It's surprising, but there are always people who want to help if you're looking long enough. So after a few years of hard work and testing, the first car was revealed. Koenigsegg CC prototype. Its design was based on a carbon Kevlar monocoque with subframes. Outside panels were light and durable, made of carbon fiber as well. And the engine was a borrowed 4.6 liter supercharged Ford V8 paired with six speed manual transmission. Everything seemed to be fine, but in order to perfect this project and further development, serious financing required. The company needed to come up with the plan. And to advertise his creation, Christian van Koenigsegg brought his car to Cannes Film Festival, where the rich and famous are usually found in large numbers. The car was great, and it impressed the right people. Its competent design and beauty and future potential managed to attract investors and along with them the first customers for the car that was still in the testing mode. The pre-production car was also shown at the 2000 Paris Auto Show. The public's reaction to the car was favorable and international contacts were made. The car received new Ford V8 engine with 655 horsepower that was paired with six-speed gearbox and one more very special feature that will also become one of the hallmarks of all Koenigsegg supercars and that's the doors. Mercedes has the Gullwing doors, Ford GT has the butterfly wing, Lamborghini has the famous Lambo doors. Koenigsegg invented his own mechanism named Beetlewing. It is dihedral synchro helix. These doors' primary intention was to open high enough to avoid most curbs, but low enough to avoid garage ceilings. It also minimizes the space taken at the side of the car while opening the door in tight spaces. And finally, in 2002, Koenigsegg CC8S was the company's first production car. It was the result of eight years of research and development. Despite limited resources, the chassis, suspension, brakes and several other components were designed and produced by Koenigsegg company. The chassis is made from Kevlar reinforced carbon fiber. The carbon fiber semi monocoque is attached to a steel subframe at the front of the chassis and an aluminum subframe at the rear. The engine transmission and rear suspension are mounted to the aluminum subframe. All body panels of the production car are made from the carbon fiber as well. The car had many unique features like the removable roof which could be stored in the car trunk located in front. And all this unusual beauty was capable to accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 3.5 seconds and the maximum speed of 390 90 kilometers an hour. These unique features and design received great praises from the visitors of the auto shows, but despite large numbers, only six cars were produced due to high production cost, and out of which two cars were right hand drive. Then a big fire happened at the assembly facility. Fire destroyed a large part of the equipment and parts of the future cars, but several unfinished cars were saved at the last moment. But this was not the end, and soon Soon the whole team moved to a new building that is in many ways was even better. It was the former Swedish Air Force base. 
Even the runway was available and it was turned into a racing track. This new location was especially appreciated by the future customers and they could fly in their private jets directly to Koenigsegg. An even greater push for this sensational car was done by Top Gear. Jeremy Clarkson tested the car and liked it and said he'd never driven anything like that and this doesn't even happen very often. Koenigsegg took a second place in the famous Top Gear laps chart. The first place was behind Pagani Zanda with just tenth of a second ahead. But the most interesting happened two years later. The next version of Koenigsegg, the model CCX, also didn't show outstanding time on the track, finishing behind Porsche Carrera GT, Ferrari Enzo and Pagani Zonda F, and Stig admitted that the car had not enough downforce and that the rear wing would add some downforce to the rear axle. But even that was not the main thing. Lack of downforce at one of the fast laps resulted in a crash. Koenigsegg promised to install the wing, which was offered as an option by the way, and later the car was tested again on Top Gear track and showed the record time. And it stayed as number one on Top Gear chart for over two years. The business for Koenigsegg sharply went up, many customers signed up to buy the car and the price was already approaching a million dollars. The engine power kept going up as well from 655 horsepower to 805 and 1018 and then an important model Agera R received 1140 horsepower and showed 0 to 100 kilometers an hour time of 2.8 seconds and the top speed easily could go over 400 kilometers an hour. In the same time, the supercar has all the luxury of the best representatives of the supercar world. Agera is also remarkable for the fact that it was the first one in automotive history to use hollow carbon fiber wheels with center locks. So if a regular wheel disc weighs around 10 or maybe 12 kilograms, then a carbon fiber one is less than 6. This weight helps suspension to follow the road profile and the lower inertia of this wheel improved acceleration and deceleration dynamics. It's hard to believe, but this wheel is also stronger and more flexible than any other alloy wheel. The only downturn of this wheel is the price of 5,000 euros, which is probably not that much, knowing that Koenigsegg brings the most advanced automotive technology. Also, Agera R model could be seen in the movie Need for Speed, where one of the cars was crushed according to movie, but none of the actual Koenigseggs were crushed because a well-made replica was used. This car is so expensive that even Hollywood budgets cannot afford to break one. Koenigsegg cars of course set some world Guinness records. In 2005, model CCR set the fastest speed record of 388 km an hour, making the title of the fastest car in the world that belonged to the legendary McLaren F1. And just a few months later, Bugatti Veyron takes it over by accelerating over 408 km an hour. And ever since, Koenigsegg and Bugatti are in competition for the fastest this car title. Bugatti constantly improved performance and top speeds and in 2017 Bugatti Chiron set the acceleration world record from 0 to 400 km an hour and deceleration to 0 to a complete stop it took 42 seconds. Koenigsegg waited for Bugatti to take the first step and just a month later Agera RS done the same thing 5.5 seconds faster. And to finalize this advantage helped the top speed record. In 2017 in Nevada, Agera RS set the top speed of 447 km an hour, which is 277 miles an hour, and this is the absolute land speed record for a production vehicle. This model had 5-liter twin-turbo V8 engine with 1,341 horsepower. Also, the most unusual speed record belongs to Koenigsegg CCX. Its owner was fined for speeding 387 km an hour on a regular public road. This world speed record needed latest technology and engineers from Koenigsegg are working on that. And it seems like this small company soon may bring us a revolution in the world of internal combustion engines. 
The Swedish company proposes to get rid of camshafts and replace this efficiency reducing mechanism system with electronic computer controlled valve actuators. And in this system the camshaft follower, rocker arms and push rods been replaced by an electro-hydraulic actuator system. And because the camless engines have no camshaft, they may have fewer moving parts and this is reducing the risk of mechanical failures that could damage the engine. And additionally, because there is no chain connection between the crankshaft and the camshaft, the engine is lighter. They also claim that when compared to similar traditional engine, it offers 50% reduction in size, 30% reduction in weight, 30% improvement in power and torque, and 30% improvement in fuel economy and up to 50% reduction in emissions. Also this engine can take fuel with any octane number, shut down any number of cylinders at any time and a number of other advantages. And in the spring of 2015 Christian van Koenigsegg told reporters that the technology is in progress but said nothing specific about the company's timetable. But Koenigsegg is not the only company. The camless valve engines have long been researched by several European and Asian car companies as well. And now just a few words about the crown of creation of the company, the Koenigsegg Regera Megacar. It is the one of the latest and the most advanced creations. This car is impressive. It was specifically designed to be a luxury megacar alternative. And as a result, it is less focused on the track performance and weight reduction and it's more focused on smooth and fast delivery of power provided by its overhauled powertrain. It has active aerodynamics, active shock absorbers, adjustable ground clearance, titanium exhaust system, Kevlar carbon super strong and light monocoque, carbon ceramic brakes and the expensive audio system. It has the plug-in hybrid powertrain and combines powerful 5-liter twin-turbo V8 Koenigsegg combustion engine with three electric motors via new powertrain technology called Koenigsegg direct drive. So it's electric motors used for instant acceleration and the onboard internal combustion engine would then maintain rapid acceleration and power at high speeds where the electric motor is less effective. The instantaneous response of the electric motors is something that even Formula One cars could not give with traditional combustion engines and Regera has total power output of 1797 horsepower. Aguirre's internal combustion engine generates its greatest power only at high rpms and very high speeds but power at low speeds is fueled by the electric motors giving the maximum combined mechanical power output of 1500 horsepower and 1475 pound-feet of torque. And of course the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour time is unbelievable 2.8 seconds and Koenigsegg built 84 of Regeras, 80 of them are customer cars and 4 for testing. And finally Christian von Koenigsegg is an incredible example of how despite all the difficulties 22 year old car fan with zero experience in building cars build a company that makes the fastest and the most expensive and the most technologically advanced supercars in the world. This is another example that proves that you don't always need generations of automotive history and what makes this 400 employee company so special is that they make a really great and exclusive product. Great product and the performance is really what matters to the most of the people that buy those cars. These are very limited versions of 1.5 million dollar cars and there is no advertising for a Koenigsegg because when a new model announced it's already sold out simply because it's that good and there is no alternative. It's truly amazing. That's all I have for you today guys. Check out my channel for my other videos, but for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.